Is it okay for a Christian to listen to or sing contemporary Christian music? E.G. Hillsong, Third Day, Amy Grant, Carrie Underwood, Casting Crowns, etc. Just to name a few. I'm sure you may hate it. I think it's really important, first of all, to, to try to define uh, what contemporary Christian music is. It's really hard to define, but in the bulk of it anyway, okay? So if you can imagine one hand, all right? In one hand, you have worship, such as, let's say, the hymns or hymn book, um, first hymn, second hymn, you know, God and Mormon wise and infinite eternal, okay? On the other hand, you have what I'll call CM, contemporary music, all right? Not CCM, contemporary music. Um, and if you can imagine a line between those, at every point of that line is an attempt to marry those both together, all right? And really, wherever that attempt to marry them together is, dictates whether or not to okay to listen to it. Because there's going to be stuff in our hymn books, all right? And we're using contemporary uh, musicians, all right? Uh, and we add that to a hymn, and it's played by an organist in the church. So if you can imagine the two hands here, worship, uh, CEM, contemporary music. I mean, some of our hymns, which have more uh, newer tunes, is right over here somewhere, okay? It's, it's good, it's good, all right? But then you'll have music to the other extreme. For example, um, and you know this list I've been given here of singers is really helpful. Now there's one of these people I didn't know, Carrie Marie Underwood. And when I checked out who she was, I could understand why I didn't know her. This is not contemporary Christian music, young people. Just because someone has a, a song and they stick the word Jesus in there, it doesn't make it Christian at all. If that girl was my daughter, I would be horrified. That is not for a young man or a young woman to view as inappropriate. There's other groups here, okay? You have Hillsong, Third Day, Amy Grant, Casting Crowns. Let me take Third Day. I mean, think of the list here, okay? You have worship, you have uh, contemporary music, and this line between them. Uh, Carrie Underwood, she's not on the line, okay? She's not trying to marry off worship and music. She's just not doing that, okay? She's in a different league altogether. You have third day, they're, they're right over here, but you cannot go any closer. I mean, this, this stuff is like rock music, again, with, with just putting words about Christ in it. And some of their stuff it is a different God, it is not my God. I mean, one of their ones I was listening to uh, was, I think it was called Jesus, I Need a Miracle. And I mean, that was that, that. The God they're describing is a vending machine. You put in your money, you put in your prayer, and he gives you what you want. End of story. That's not the God of the Bible. Not at all. We have a God who hears and answers prayer, but it must be reverenced. Now, um, think again these two, these two extremes here, okay? Worship on one hand, CM on the other hand, okay? Um, where you listen to the music on that line is going to depend on who you are as a Christian. The more you grow in grace, the different your choice in music will be. And I've talked to some of these men here in the panel about music we listened to years ago. And it's different now because there's growth and grace, there's sanctification. And the more sanctified you are, the less you'll be attracted to the things of the world, including the world of music here, okay? You'll continue to be drawn away from them. Not all music's bad. Not all music's evil, okay? It's not. Some of it's fine. Some of it's good. This is a really, really hard question to answer. And perhaps I can leave three words with you here. Um, before I do that, one thing that's really important is discernment. You need to have Christian discernment, young people. You can't just listen to what you like the best. You have to think. What's going on here? Here's three things you can think about, okay? Your motive. Why are you listening to that? Is it, sheer, is it surely for entertainment? Really, can you listen to worship for entertainment? This is worship in God. Is that entertainment? And if you are, you will definitely take God's name and being at some point. You'll be driving down the, the, the motorway, and there'll be a song on, and you'll be singing about Jesus and God, and you will not be thinking about the Holy God in heaven. You'll be thinking of something else. You'll be thinking of the road, I hope. All right, so that, that's really, really important to play in there. On the other hand, you may listen to it, it might do you real good, and it does, it will lift your heart sometimes. So think in your motive, think in the message that's being conveyed by the individual singing. As I said, some of this is declaring a different God. 
also think in your mood. How does it affect you? When you finish listening to that song, are you drawn out to want to know more of God and be more like God? Or are you motivated to be more like the singer? More like the person who's doing uh, the, the song or whatever? Um, is your adrenaline pumping? You know, can you listen to that and you're ready to go lift weights? Or you're ready to go to, you know, a boxing ring? Okay, is your adrenaline pumping? Again, think of your motive, think of your message and the mood. And so all I'm doing right now, I want to keep you thinking. Think on a different level. You can define it, I hope, to some degree. Think your motive, the message, and your mood. That's all I can really feel up right now. If you want to ask me later about more of this, by all means, please do.